urgent optimism. I love that. That's helped me. <laughs> um, when I was asked to come to Learning To and share with all of you, I hesitated, and I almost said no because of this moment right here. I love what I do. I love my job. I'm passionate about my subject, which is art. But speaking, even on the stage in front of you, that is very scary. Um, I expect my students to be risk takers. Try new things. Leap. The net will appear. Don't be afraid. Make your mark. And so I knew I had to say yes. And not just yes, but a resounding yes. I had to walk the walk, live by my own principles. So here I am. And what do I have to share with all of you? What am I most deeply passionate about? And that's these two right here. These are my kids, Araya and Troy. I'm passionate about being a mom and about being the best mom that I can be. Most days are really awesome. But then there are those other moments <laughs> And so I reflected, how can I be a better mom? What do I do well? What, do I do diff what can I do differently? I know I set the tone in my classroom, and I know that my mood affects my children. So I reflected, and the change, if I want to rethink and change, then it all is going to go back to me. And doesn't it always? And so I thought, what's going to make me a better mom? How do I begin? The Buddhists have an idea, the Dharmakaya, the noble self, me on my best day. It's a really beautiful vision. It's one that I strive toward. And so, I decided to just start with one small seed, very simple seed, and see what happened. And my small seed was water. I needed to drink more of it. And so I got the app, Productive, and I started to track my goal. And I did this consistently for three weeks. And I decided I felt pretty good. I added one more to write in my journal. But to keep it small, I followed the advice of Julia Cameron, the author of The Artist's Way. And I woke up half an hour early in the morning, and I only wrote three pages. Well, Things started to happen, changes started to happen, connections started to be made. And I decided to make one more goal, and that was to walk every day, no matter what. That gave me the time to listen or watch TED Talks. It's such noble content, good people. And a domino effect happened in my life. And I added one more to meditate, three minutes, 25 minutes, whatever. A small, simple step forward. And I decided to make art every day with my students. What better time than right now to let go of what no longer serves you, whatever that might be? What better time than right now to take a step forward toward your own dharmakaya, your own 
noble self. What better time than this moment, right here, to plant a seed and see what grows. Thank you.